What's going on guys? I'm Captain Mike with RealPorts.com and today I'm doing a cast net seminar. In a previous video, I showed you guys a very easy way, the way I use pretty much 90% of the time to throw a cast net by not putting it in your mouth, not putting it over your shoulder. You stay dry, you stay clean, and you can throw between you know, a four foot and a 10 foot net, no problem, pancake it, get your bait. Well, pretty much everybody's told me they've had a lot of success going out there catching bait, catching more fish, and creating memories with their family. But I did have a few people reach out to me on Instagram and tell me they're just not getting it perfect. They're getting it almost open or they're struggling a little bit. So I'm doing a cast net seminar today. Pedro reached out to me on Instagram, told me he's local. So I'm gonna meet up with him and we're gonna show him how to throw his eight foot cast net that he went out and bought. I'm bringing today a five footer as well as a seven footer. And I'm also gonna bring the 12 footer if we have time to show him how to throw it Isla Mirada style. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I got here my beach cast net right here. This is quarter inch mesh. I use this to catch the small baits. I'm gonna jump in the boat right now and grab the seven footer. I'd rather be with those guys right now, huh? All right. Let's go throw some cast nets. This is going to be like the new CrossFit, throwing the cast net in a 100 degree heat out here. Hola Pedro, como están? How are you? Todo bien? Everything okay? Si. Como tu español está very good boy. Estoy aprendiendo muy rápido porque yo tengo muchos amigos en Miami. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. This is my wife and this is my daughter. Oh, hi. Okay. All right, so we're going to get started. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, so guys, I'm here with Pedro right now. Pedro reached out to me on Instagram and he wanted to perfect his cast net method a little bit. So we're going to go out here on the grass. We're going to throw the cast net. And then if there's no seaweed out there, we're going to go out there and try to catch some bait. And he might try to catch a snook. He actually brought a rod out here today. So he's going to try to really make the most of the situation. All right. All right. <laughs> so. Yes, I found a market um, through Instagram. And then it's uh, very interesting to know how through the put it in the net uh, for catch a live bait. Um, pero. En español está bien. También tiene que hablar en español pues porque sé. muchos muchos followers te siguen Yo en sé. español. Entonces tengo muchos amigos también que quieren seguirte en español. <laughs> eh, pues nada, tú eres el teacher. I'm gonna follow you. What is gonna do? And okay. That's good. So he brought out an eight footer, three eighths mesh. I was just telling him that for the beach fishing, you really want a quarter inch mesh because there's a lot of sardines. We got a lot of pilchards. We got a lot of silver sides, and you'll end up gilling them. They'll end up trying when they're trying to swim out. They stick their faces into the mesh and they get gilled right there by the gills, right there under the, the neck right there. And they just all end up dying. So he'll get some with this, but it's not ideal. But this is a good all purpose cast net. So, so I'm gonna show you the parts of the cast net first. I'll show you with yours. All right. That's good. I, the only thing that I, this is more, it's more one that you have, right? No. This one's, this one's, this, yeah, it, it don't really matter. I'll show you though. Let's come over here and get the get in the grass. So this cast net, I'm about five foot ten, so this is about an eight foot cast net. Uh huh. So an eight foot cast net is a radius, right? That's half. Okay. You're really gonna throw a sixteen foot diameter. Right. When you pancake this thing, it's gonna be sixteen feet. Yeah, it's a double like a little there. This right here is called the horn. This right here is called our braille line. We want to make sure there's no tangles in that as well. And then you got your rope, of course. Okay. So I'm gonna start here. So I like to put this on my wrist kind of loose because when you're throwing the net off the boat, if it gets caught in your propellers. All the time you put in the right hand or always depend, in the depend, right. Depend oh. if you, well, if you're lefty, you go on your, on your strong hand. This is my strong hand because I'm a righty. Okay. So we're gonna, you know. That's very interesting, yeah. you know, because. It's like golf too when you play golf. If you're uh -huh. a righty, you swing with your right. It's the same thing when you throw a punch, your right hand's stronger than your left. All right. Everything, right? Sounds good. 
So you can make this little noose around you, but I don't like it too tight when I'm on the boat. On the beach, it's okay. So on the boat, I like it loose just in case something happens, the net gets caught on the prop. You just come right out, right? All right. So here on land, on the beach, you can do like this. Okay. So we're gonna make about one foot coils right here. So we get to the end of the rope. So pull the horn all the way up. Make sure there's no tangles, no twists. If this net is all twisted up like this, and it will get like this after you throw them many times, uh -huh. it won't open. You got to make sure it's completely untwisted and perfect. All right. All right. So at this point, I like to grab down on an eight-foot net right about there, about a foot lower, so that you make the net shorter. So now the net's shorter, right? Make sure you got no tangles. You can see there's a tangle right here. See that tangle? It won't open up with a tangle like that. All right. So you gotta get that out. So now we got no tangles. We want to stand right in between both sides of the net. You got 50% of the leads on this side, 50% on this side. We're gonna grab down right about our hip right here. Again, with the right hand. Everything's in my right hand now, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of the secret sauce. You want to take this part, the left side. Okay. Right? And you want to flip it and make it the right side, right? All right. So we're going to flip. So you want to grab here and you want to flip and you want to hold it. So now you can see there's two levels, right? Right. Two levels. You want to grab the middle right here. Mm -hmm. Bring this up to your thumb. And you're just holding it right there. Now the net's ready to throw. Okay. You're basically going to grab down right here. And we're just going to throw this, right? We're going to kind of step into it. But you want to hold on to this like for about three seconds longer. Okay. So see how my palm is facing up right here? I don't think a lot of people got this in the last video, but my palm is facing up. When I throw this, I turn my palm really quick, right? So it's just boom. So with this hand, it's turning it over and that's what's gonna get in. We're just gonna... Maybe... Basically, it's a little moving at once. No? Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna aim for like, I always have like a target. So I'm gonna aim for that little leaf right there. So I want the leaf to just be... Pull this, it's, it's good to make how to close the net. You don't just pull it in. Watch when I pull these leads. You wanna just kinda tug on it. You see the way they're closing and they're staying on the ground? If you just keep tugging on that, the baits can't get out. Flip flop got out, but the baits can't get out. And then once you get to here, just keep pulling and you can pull it in your boat. You can actually pull this up a little bit. It forms a bag there. And then you can take a wrap and come into the boat with all your bait. That's good. Right? That's really good. So all I'm right. going to grab my net and do it with you now. So, but for practicing out here, we can do it out here. Make it tight. So we're going to go around our right wrist. Okay. Right? You can form this little noose. Exactly. So we're going to make one full coils. All in the right hand. Yep. All the way to the end of the rope. So now on your net, on, because you're throwing an eight footer right now, I want you to grab about a foot down with your right hand. Okay. Yep. So nothing in your left. No, no, nothing in your left hand. Yep. So now what we're going to do, we're going to divide the net into 50% on the left side, half and half. So 50 on the ground. Okay. Yep. Perfecto. So you got half and half, right? Right. So half is here, okay. half is there, okay? All right. So now look, so come down with your left hand like this to your hip, right here. Yep. And now grab it with your right hand. Yep. Exactly. This way though. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so now we're gonna grab, so keep 50% on each side, go back down to the ground. So now you got 50% right there, right? So now this is gonna come over. Stick your thumb up right there. This is gonna come up. Okay. All right. So now when you throw it, you wanna turn your... Yeah, try to throw that. Hold on to this a little bit longer this time. 
So throw, boom. Let's see what happens. Yep. I think the load's a little messed up, but we'll try again after this. Easy. Can I do? Yep. Pancake. Good. All right, guys, so we're doing a cast net seminar out here. We got Pedro learning how to throw the net. He's throwing the eight footer. He's going to get that just a few more tries. I was throwing the seven footer over here, but I got this. Check this out. I stopped over at Cesar's cast net facility and he built me this beautiful 12 foot net here i almost don't want to even throw it over here because it's not really the best thing for a net to throw it on the grass but just look at the the rope that he uses just nice i like white rope because i feel like the bait sees darker colors and he tied this thing up nice for me oh almost a little tangle there so here's the little tag on there, 12 foot, one quarter inch mesh. We're gonna pop that off. All right. So this is like an unboxing for Cesar's 12 foot. I mean, dude, there's just so much net here. And this thing weighs about, I think a pound and a half per foot. It might even be more than that. I forget what we agreed on. So I've just been throwing the net with no teeth, no over the shoulder. Now I gotta switch it up to the method that I learned a long time ago from a good friend of mine who was a really good cast net fisherman. We were in maybe like eighth grade. He showed me how to throw it at a boat ramp one day. I believe he called it Isla Mirada style, but um, I think people call it the triple load now on, on YouTube. So everything goes in my left hand for this load, right? But we're gonna do the same coils. What I like about this rope, it doesn't tangle. Like your typical rope. This is a nice rope Cesar has. And this rope sinks. 12 footer here. Um, I've been throwing that one so much, I forgot how to throw this one. <laughs> so, oh yeah, okay. All right. So what I like to do is I like to load it up three different ways. So I'm gonna take three loads on this. So first load, I like to put in between my fingers here. It's number one. I like to take another load here, put this one in between my fingers. Man, this net is thick. This is why I put it in between my fingers. That way I don't have to put it all in my palm. And I hope Cesar didn't give me a net that has tangles in it. I'm gonna grab like right here at my hip. I got everything in my left hand now. Now what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna fan out the net just a little bit. That's it. It's a 12 foot net. The first load, that's about all you need right there. I'm gonna come up and over my shoulder. And now I'm gonna divide the net into 50%. Drop it. I'm gonna grab it with my pinky right here. And now I'm pretty much ready to throw. This is my first time throwing this net. We're gonna put it off our body, come up. That's a Cesar gas net, not me. That bounced a little bit, but that's a 12 foot cast net. You can see the difference. Once we put a little fabric softener on it, it's gonna soften up, spread out a little bit more. But that right there is gonna, I would like to throw this off the beach if there was no weed out there. I would catch too much weed. So now this time, let me get this out here. So this time like, uh, so your hand is up or down? So this time just slowly though, just, just don't wind all the way back here. Captain Mike with the reports.com. We're out of here. <laughs> that is more than small. Oh, yeah, five foot.
But these are perfect for snook. These are silver sides. See, in your neck, they'll get stuck in them, right? But this right here is a filter. That's the perfect snook bait right there. That right there is snook candy. It's called a croaker. Snook love these baits. Porque ellos le gustan comen sus huevos. Yeah. She says she wants another one. Sorry, he died. Alright guys, Captain Mike here. So we just finished up a cast net seminar. Pedro did throw some cast nets out here. He threw some pancakes. 